Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Miss Mandy and I'll be your host for this part of the lesson. This is Miss Catherine. She's going to be your teacher. We would like to say a big thank you to Miss Summer and Miss Misha for teaching us so much about silk today. We are going to continue today's lesson with phonics. Today we are going to learn some new tricky words. Let's get started. Hello boys and girls. <coughs> Let's begin our lesson today with a quick warm up activity. We are going to review sounds, letters, and words we have learned in previous lessons using our consonant code flipbook routine. You may have seen this before and be familiar with it, but if you're not, we're going to help you with each slide. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, boys and girls, we see a letter. Can someone tell me what sound that letter makes? Hmm, what'd you say? Great job. The sound is T. All right, boys and girls, now a letter has popped up. Can you tell me what this letter is? T. T, very good. All right, boys and girls, the last part is to tell me what the word is that has the T and the T sound in it. Do you know what the word is? That's right, the word is? Top. Good job. All right, boys and girls, what letters are these? Great job, I heard you. The letters are TT. Now let's look at our word that has TT in the middle of it. Boys and girls, what word is this? That's right, the word is sitting. <coughs> okay, these are our last letters for this slide. What two letters do you see in that box? Great job. Those letters are ED. And this is our last word for this slide. What is that word that has ED at the end of it? That's right. The word is asked. Y'all are doing so good. Let's keep going. All right, the letter has popped up. So the first thing we're going to do is try to remember what sound does this letter make? I heard you say it. The sound is D. Great job. Let's keep going. All right, the letter has popped up that makes the D sound. What letter is this? Do you remember from previous lessons? The letter is D. Good job. All right, and what word do you see under the D? It has a D in it and it has the D sound at the beginning. What word is that? Good job. The word is dot. Let's keep going. All right, boys and girls, you may remember these letters from previous lessons. What two letters are these? Good job. The letters are DD. And what word has DD at the end of it? What is that word? You got it. That word is add. Last one. All right, what two letters do you see in this box? You got it. Those letters are ED. And think about this word that has ED at the end. You probably have seen this before. What's that word? I think I heard you say it. What is it? The word is field. All right, boys and girls, we're going to start moving a little bit faster. We're going to start by saying what the sound is, then what the letter is, and then what the word is. All right, here we go. Sound is G. Letter is G. Word is gift. Letters are GG. Word is egg. Letters are GU. Word is guess. Letters are G-H. Word is ghost. Awesome. Let's keep going. Sound is CH. Letters are C-H. Word is chin. Letters are T-C-H. Word is itch. Awesome job. Y'all are doing so well. 
sound is letter is F word is fit letters are F F word is stuff letters are P H word is phone letters are G H word is tough we're almost through y'all are doing so good sound is Letters are TH. Word is thin. Letters are the. Excuse me. Sorry, boys and girls. I meant to say sound is the. Letters are TH. Word is them. Very good. Sound is mmm. Letters are, or letter is, we have just one letter this time. N. Word is nut. Letters are in in word is running. Letters are K N word is for some reason that word didn't come up. Let's think about a word that has K N at the beginning and makes the N mm sound. Can you think of a word? Not. Very good. Let's keep going. Letters are G N word is sign. Great job. Sound is shh. Letters are sh. Word is shop. Letters are ch. Word is chef. Sound is qu. Letters are q u. Word is quit. All right, boys and girls. <clears throat> Y'all did a great job reviewing your sounds your letters, and your words that you have learned in previous lessons. Now what we are going to do is we are going to learn some new tricky words. Remember that they're called tricky words because they do not always make the expected sounds that we have learned. <clears throat> so let's look at our first word. I'm going to add it to the anchor chart. Boys and girls, do you know this word? Do you know this word right here that I just put on the anchor chart? Way to try to sound it out. I heard you. Good job. Miss Mandy, do you mind telling me what this word is? you mind trying to read it for us? Hmm. Let me try to sound it out. K -a -a -old. K -a -old. K-a-old. K-a-old. I don't recognize that word. That doesn't sound right. That's right, Miss Mandy. It doesn't sound right because it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's look at this word more closely. The word is could. Boys and girls, can you say could with us? Could. could. The letters C and D in the word could make their expected sounds. The C says k and the D says d. Let's circle those letters since they make the expected sound. They make the sound that they're supposed to or that's expected. Now, let's look at the letters O, U, and L that are in the middle of the word could. They are <coughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. They make the uh sound. Let's underline those letters. Those are those tricky, tricky, tricky letters. Boys and girls, let's try to read it again. K, uh, d. Could. The word is could. Say it with me one more time. Could. could. Great job. Now I'm going to use it in a sentence. I wish I could go to the beach today. What's something you wish you could do today? Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Let's keep going. Let's look at our next tricky word. Boys and girls, I'm going to add it to the anchor chart. And I want you to try to read the word at home. See if you can read this word to me and Miss Mandy. Way to try to sound it out. Good job. I could hear you really trying to make those expected sounds. Miss Mandy, do you mind trying to sound it out and read it to me? Okay, let me try. W a a old. What a old, what a old. That doesn't sound right. I don't think that's a word. 
That's right, Miss Mandy. It doesn't sound right because it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's look at this word more closely, boys and girls. The word is would. The letters W and D make their expected sounds. The W says w, and the D says d. Let's circle those letters. They are making their expected sounds, so we'll circle them. Now, let's look at the letters O, U, and L that are in the middle of the word would. They are tricky, tricky, tricky. They do not make their usual or expected sound. They make the uh sound. Let's underline those letters. Boys and girls, let's try to read it again. Now that we know what the O-U-L says in the middle, that uh sound. Uh, uh, d. Wood. Great job. The word is wood. Listen to me use it in a sentence. What would you like to eat for lunch today? Hmm. I think I could eat some chicken nuggets. What's something you would like to eat for lunch today? That sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we have one last tricky word today. And I'm going to add it to our anchor chart and see if you can figure out what this tricky word is based on what we've learned about our expected sounds. And then now that we know that O-U-L doesn't make its expected sound, it says, Ugh. do you think you might know what this one is? Can you try to read it for me at home? <coughs> Way to try to read it. Great job. Miss Mandy, can you try to read this one to us? I think I'm starting to recognize a pattern here. In the word could and would, the beginning and the ending made their expected sounds, but that O-U-L says uh. So I think this is going to be sh -ud, should. That's right, Miss Mandy. Way to go. The word is should. Boys and girls, did you think that this word was should too? You did? Awesome, you are so smart. So let's look at this word a little bit closer. All right, the letters SH, so there's our SH and D at the end, that's the final letter, the final sound. The SH says SH and the D says D. Let's circle those letters because they make their expected sound. They aren't trick, trying to trick us, they make their expected sound. Now, let's look back at that O-U-L that's in the middle of the word should. There's those tricky, tricky, tricky letters. Let's underline those letters because they do not make their expected sounds. They say, ugh. Boys and girls, let's try to read it again. Read it with me and Miss Mandy. Sh -ud. Should. Should. Great job. The word is should. Listen to me use it in a sentence. You should always brush your teeth before going to bed. Boys and girls, what's something else you should always do before you go to bed at night? Awesome answers. You all are so smart. All right, boys and girls. Now let's practice some more with our new tricky words we just learned. Let's look at the word could. So that was our first tricky word. I'm going to load the word and then tap out each letter in the word could on my arm. Watch me first and then it'll be your turn and you can try it with me at home. I'm gonna load the word could and then I'm going to tap out each letter on my arm. C-O-U-L-D, could. Can you try it with me? You can? All right, let's do it. Could, C. O-U-L-D, could. Great job. Now we're going to try to skywrite the word could. I'm going to make the number two with my fingers. So I'm gonna hold up a two, and then I'm gonna put my fingers together, and I'm gonna use my fingers to skywrite each letter in could. Watch me first, and then you can try it with me at home. The word is could. C O U L D could. All right, boys and girls, are you ready to try it with me? 
Make the number two with your fingers and then put them together and we're going to write the word could. Here we go. C-O-U-L-D. And the word was what? Could. Great job. All right. Let's do those same activities. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. We're going to do one more thing with the word could before we move on to would and should. So now what I'm going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to take away the word could where you can't see it. And we're going to try to write this word from memory. That means we don't have it in front of us. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to see if we can write it. Okay? So if you have a piece of paper or pencil or pencil, crayon, marker, any of those things will work. I'll give you a few seconds to grab your paper and your writing utensil. And again, you can use a pencil, a crayon, or a marker. So I'll give you a few seconds to grab what you need, and then if you'll come right back, and we're going to practice writing it. All right, let's get started. Does anyone remember what the first letter is in could? Hmm. Let's think about it for just a second. What do you think the first letter <coughs> is in could? Yes, great job. C is the first letter in the word could. Let's write a C on our paper. What letter comes after the C? Yes, O is the second letter in the word could. All right, boys and girls, what about that third letter? We have C, we have O. Does anybody remember what was next? I bet you know it. Did you say you? That's right. You is the third letter in the word could. So let's write a U on our paper. And you write a U on your paper at home as I am writing on my paper. All right, what letter comes after the U and could? What did you say? Did you say L? Awesome, you got it right. All right, boys and girls, there's one last letter in the word could. Does anybody know what that final letter is? That's right. The last or final letter in could is D. C-O-U-L-D spells could. All right, let's keep going. Let's look back at our second word, which was would. This time, since I've shown you how to do it, we're going to do it together. We're going to lock and load and then tap out those letters to help us remember how to spell it. The word is would. Would. W-O-U-L-D. Would. Now let's try to skywrite it. W-O-U-L-D. And what was that word, boys and girls? Would. Awesome. Now let's see if we can write it. I'm going to take it away. We're going to see if we can do it from memory. That means you're going to know it in your head and you don't have to look to see it. What was the first letter, boys and girls, in would? W. Great job. Does anyone remember what letter comes next? What comes after the W? Oh, that was that tricky letter. It didn't make its expected sound. After the O, what letter? U. And remember, as I'm writing, you are writing this on your paper at home as well. So we have W-O-U-L. And the final letter is D. And what word did we just write, boys and girls? Would. Awesome job. We have one last tricky word, so we learned could and would. Our last tricky word for today is should. So since we've done this together already, let's go ahead and Lock and load, and then we'll tap out the letters. Not the sounds, but the letters. Should. S-H-O-U-L-D. Should. Great job. Now let's skywrite the word should together. S-H-O-U-L-D. D. And what was that word, boys and girls? Should. Great job. All right, I'm going to take should away. 
and let's see if we can remember how to spell it since we have done some activities with it. All right, what's those, <clears throat> what is the first letter in should? S. What comes next, boys and girls? I think I heard you say it. H, good job. Uh-oh, my H is a little too big, but that's okay. That's an H. What comes after the H? O. All right, can you keep spelling it for me? U. Great job. L. And what's that last letter? D. Great job. The word is should. So we have could, would, and should. Boys and girls, now that we have practiced spelling and writing our new tricky words, let's practice reading a story that has our new tricky words in it. Before we read the story, let's see if we can find our new tricky words we just learned. I'm going to place my fingers under the words, and when you think you hear a tricky word, I want you to yell, stop! And I'll underline them when I hear you say stop. Are you ready? Let's go. What should... <gasps> There's one of our tricky words. I do. <clears throat> So I'm just going to slide my finger and we're just looking for those tricky words and you're yelling at me to stop when you think you, oh, there's one, could. You think you see one of our new tricky words. Oh, there's one, I hear, you, I hear you yelling at me saying stop, there's the word should. Did you say stop? There's could. Stop. There's the word would. Stop again. Would is there again in our story. All right. I think that's all of our tricky words. <clears throat> so let's read them. Should. Could. Should could, would, and would. All right, boys and girls, <clears throat> we're going to try to read this story together, okay? <clears throat> On three. One, two, three. What should I do? One day, my mom told me I could go outside and play or stay inside and watch TV. I wasn't sure if I should go outside because it looked like it might start raining. I could just stay inside and watch TV. That sounded like a great plan, or a good plan, excuse me. What would you do? Would you go outside and play or stay inside and watch TV? <clears throat> All right, boys and girls, before I go, we have just a few minutes. We're going to play a game where we review some of the tricky words we have learned in previous lessons. So let's look at this anchor chart. I'm not going to remove all the sticky notes. I'm just going to do some. But when I peel the sticky note away, I want you to shout out what the tricky word is, okay? Here we go. Two. Great job. Should. Said, could, she, would, a, the, once, says, there, awesome, y'all remember these, me, why? All right, we're going to stop right there. We'll save the rest for another day, okay? <clears throat> Y'all did such a great job remembering your tricky words that you learned today, but then also the ones that you have learned in previous lessons. Thank you, boys and girls, for watching. Please stay tuned for more phonics fun. 
All rights and credits for today's lesson belong to Core Knowledge Language Arts. We would like to thank them for publicly sharing their valuable resources. See you next time. See you later, boys and girls.